What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you that follow us, you know we did a hands-on with the Wayfair Ray-Ban stories. So if this looks familiar, that's because it is. We originally got those matte black dark gray lens style ones, but we really liked them so much that we went ahead and actually got the new Wayfair's shiny olive frame with the photochromatic green transition lenses. So, it's going to be very similar to what we did with that original video, but we're going to toss this one to the side, and I want to go ahead and show you guys how these new clear or transitional lenses, whatever you want to call it, work. So, for those of you that didn't see the first video, these obviously are that new Ray-Ban and Facebook partnership. They basically, Ray-Ban was in charge of the design, which was a great decision on Facebook's part. So the only thing Facebook related to these is the technology used for the cameras and the algorithms to process the video. Again, if you guys aren't used to this or aren't familiar with what these entail, the front of the frames have two 5 megapixel cameras that can shoot images and 30 seconds of videos. Uh, the glasses themselves have an external facing LED display, so it's for privacy, just so everyone can know you're actually recording them. And there's actually one in the inside temple, so you can see if it's recording or not as well. Additionally, though, what's cool is uh, the temples of the smart glasses actually double up as earphones and feature touch activated controls for music, playback, calls, and you can actually adjust the volume by swiping your finger over the, uh, the active edge. So, these are meant to rival kind of spectacles and Snapchat and all that. I have those, I use the originals, the sequels, and they're in the process of coming up with another one as well, but these are the most classical looking glasses that are non-obtrusive, you can't really tell there's lenses in them, or cameras I should say, so uh, that's why I really like these. The reason I wanted to go ahead and get a pair of these transitional lenses too is I like them so well that um, I don't want to have to keep taking the glasses off or only being able to use them when it's sunny outside. I kind of like the idea of being able to wear these inside and capture moments with my five-year-old and all that, so I thought it would be a nice idea to have a second pair. Um, you can see this, and I didn't call this out in the original video. It says made for iPhone, obviously. There's not much verbiage here for Android devices, but they will work with it. There is the Facebook app um, exclusive for these stories that you can use. So, enough of all this rambling, let's go ahead and open this baby up and slide them out. And so far everything is exactly the same, obviously, as you would assume from that other pair. You have that nice leather hard carrying case with the glasses in there. We'll go right back to those in a minute. There is that app we were just talking about, download the Facebook View app. You are going to have your reading material in here, as well as a pouch if you want to carry the glasses in there instead of the hard shell carrying case and just some other reading material. And another, I believe, USB-C to USB-C cable. So, that's it. Sure enough, it is. Uh, I don't need this one out right now. We're going to go ahead and leave it in the box. Push this baby back in. Okay, so, let's take a look at these frames. All right. So you can see it is a very glossy, almost like a forest green, very dark green, obviously they're calling it olive, but I do like the looks on there. As you can see, the lenses look clear right now. When there is enough light hitting them, they actually transition into their traditional greenish colored or tinted lenses um, for good visibility. Beyond that, like we were saying, you have a speaker built into the bottom here, another speaker here, and the touch bar over here as well. That'll control your volume, answering ending calls, and all of that. There is going to be your uh, button to press or stop recording videos. You have your on-off switch actually here that you actually have to kind of toggle to pair, and obviously those front two 5 megapixel lenses. So you can't really see it in this video, but there is a little dot right here that does show you that you are recording like I was telling you about uh, in the intro. So I actually really like the looks of these. Um, let me go ahead and throw them on 
and you can take a look at what they look like in this form. All right, so here's what they look like, like I said, without that transition taking effect. You can kind of see what you would expect from them. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it weird with the clear lens? There's a lot of blue light glasses out there, but I kind of like the way these look personally. But drop a comment and let me know about that as well. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are outside now, and here they are, same lenses, same frames, and you can see just how much darker they have gotten. Uh, let's take them off really quick. It's hard to see just all the differences. They're not going to be mirror. You can definitely see through them. Um, from having them inside and then moving outside, they transitioned pretty quickly, and I haven't had any issue really in disconcerting from when they were on the uh, the transparent mode to now when they're actually clear through. So let me know what you guys think. You can see this is kind of the extent of how dark it's gonna get. Are they gonna work for you? All right, so beyond the looks of that, going back to the case, like it was prior, you have a little plastic cover over the charging port. So you should be able to actually fold these babies up and it'll latch right on. And there's an LED indicator right on the front of the case showing you that it is charging. USB-C port on the back as well. So, like I said, these are meant to really compete with uh, Snapchat spectacles. And there's a ton of other smart glasses out there. Uh, I believe even Razer came out with just some audio ones. But since these actually have the cameras and the video quality is not too terrible, photo quality is not too terrible as well. Um, I'll throw up a link in the video description for that for you guys to see the quality. I actually did a quick video while driving just to kind of show them off um, to show what the quality did. Again, keep those expectations tame though, just because these are coming out of glasses and they're not going to give you even, uh, you know, cell phone quality videos. But it's not meant for that necessarily. It's meant for just having a quick ability to press a button and record a couple second clips. Obviously you can continue to hit the button for more than 30 seconds at a time. The onboard storage will fill up and the battery will die quicker, but it's just a uh, just a little call out I want to throw out there for you guys. So are you guys a fan ultimately of these transitional lenses? It's something a little different. Um, I know they're nothing new, but having the ability to actually have these, you know, cameras available at all times, right on your head, able to take your calls, able to really wear inside as well as out. Um, I'm curious if you would rather go for these than just your traditional dark lenses that you can only use during the day. You'd be able to wear these at night if you'd like and just have a little more uh, of options as far as when you could wear them. So that's it for this one guys. I don't want to ramble on too much more. You see it. These are more expensive. I do want to call that out though. These are $379 as opposed to I think $299 starting price. So you are paying a little more for those transitional lenses. Features and all that are basically the same. Obviously nothing's changed in that regard. You're not gaining any storage. This is obviously still a designer item first over tech. It just has a nice tech package built in. So let us know guys again. Comment down below. These or the original ones that I have Wayfarers, Meteors Around, or your three other color or your uh, design options. But that's it for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.